everyone, Sup North Collectors here. We're opening up a hobby box of the new 2018 uh, Heritage High Number. This has, uh, has one autograph or one relic card in each box. You also get, uh, you know, short prints, uh, variations, uh, and the like. So let's see what we get out here. This checklist is pretty amazing. You can get all kinds of uh, great autograph cards, uh, rookie cards. You got Soto, Otani, um, uh, Acuna. Uh, Gleyber Torres. Uh, I don't know. Is Andrew Hart here or not? Mm, yeah, probably. I don't think he was in the first set. What was? Yeah, I can't was remember. Um, there's a lot of a lot of good rookies in here. So, is box the, topper. The so the you, original 69 card. Yeah, you get a box topper in each one of the uh, boxes, and some of them are the panel cards. This is one of the originals, which Andy, is Andy Costco, which is pretty cool. I like the original. It's actually in decent shape, badly off centered, but the corners are nice. Actually, for that era, it's not horribly off centered. Um, Interesting uh, Dodgers uniform. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look anything. Like uh, a, to flip it back again, like it. Uh, it yeah, it is, is really. It almost looks like a Panini card. Yeah, I know. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's kind of cool. I, I yeah. like the getting the old ones. They're my favorite box topper. Yeah, so. yeah, me too. I'd rather have the vintage than the panels um, just because uh, they're, you know, vintage. Yeah, for sure. So, Lourdes Gurriel rookie, Brandon Morris. So this is a smaller set. It's like 200 cards rather than... Yeah, and it, usually the fifth card in is going to be your special card. So this is... It's going to be a short print. an insert or a short print. And yeah, short prints are Alonso. 701 to 725. Yeah, there aren't that many. so. No, there's not that many. Um, a lot of dupes. Yeah, you get, right, you can start getting duplicates. So this is our first hobby box we've opened, so um, we're interested to see what we get out of this because the retail has been halfway decent. We haven't opened up a bunch of retail, um, but it's been a nice looking and fun product nice Devers rookie performers I like those inserts those are pretty cool Lucas Duda and Kion Kila and there's Kion. a lot of different guys in here that you wouldn't um, see in other products uh, necessarily or if you did they were not going to stand out to you uh, some of the names are familiar Noah Syndergaard the Deco Edge 10 of 30 these are cool too I like these I like the Heritage inserts this year more than previous years, so Aaron Reed, so the one high number so far, and then a couple of inserts. Do they have the hot boxes and this stuff too? Where you oh get yeah, like yep, purple yep, yep, I saw it on a case break, things. they had, yep, they got one of those mm -hmm. uh, in a case, so. Zula Cabrera, then we got a Carlos Santana, that's a high number short print. Number or seven hundred and eleven. Then the Otani rookie threw me off for a second. I was wondering if it was something just because of where it was, but yeah, just the base card number six hundred. So Nishek and Trevor Cahill. So one Otani rookie. It seemed like last year you got almost a base set of box. Not quite, but pretty close. Yeah, not quite, not quite, because I don't think we ended up with twelve sets out of a case. But we didn't open up a case of high number. Oh, of high number, right? Oh, yeah, right. A high number, yeah. It's two hundred right. cards a set, right? Yeah, that year. that's about right. Yep, because you get what eight pack or eight cards in a pack, nine, nine cards, cards in a pack. So times twenty four is a number. But about eight eight base cards in a pack, then. Yeah. Because you get about one insert. Yeah. And then so. eight times twenty four is. Somewhere close to 200. Yeah, yep. So, Brock Holt, Jordan Hicks, Jesse Biddle, Logan Forsyth, Jake Arietta, and that's a. This is a action. Oh, yeah, you it can tell right because. There. I wasn't sure at first yeah. what it was, but yeah. It, yeah, so turn it around, that, turn it, it around again. You can see this year the. It says, it says it. action on that little tops. Yeah, T down there. So that's the action, Jake tomb. Arietta. It d that's kind of a hard one to pick out, actually, because there are some pictures that do look like that that are just base. So. Yeah, but you always want to look at the back of the cards. Even if you don't think you have anything, always take a look um, in the back and see if you find uh, see if you find any of the numbers uh, numbering on the back or 
this year they're putting it right here on some of the variations not all so Got it, all Jim. right Bartola Cologne Mitch Garber Miguel Rojos uh, now and then insert uh, there's Hector Velasquez and Hunter Strickland. All right, so still going to be looking for maybe another variation uh, or hopefully an autograph. However, those are about one in every... Um, four to five boxes. Yeah, four to five boxes out of a case. So here's a Reggie Jackson uh, highlights card. The back of that one. So oh, insert. Yeah. They have a little insert set of that. Um, Edward Nunez or Eduardo Nunez. Uh, Pedro Severino. Tony and Mark. So a lot of different names in here. More than you'd see. Oh, there's a good one right there. Acuna Jr. Or Acuna. Now this looks like an action, but it's not. Jonathan LaCroix. Like, see, like that looks kind of like that area. Right, sure. exactly. Yeah, but then you have a lot of these that are like portraits, them just standing there. Uh, Preston Tucker, Neil short Walker, short print. So now that's going to be numbered out of 80, 85 on the back. The back corner there is going to say 85 in the real small print. That's just the high number. Right, that's just the high number. The I think the regular number is seventy-five. Yeah. And you, we'll post the codes below, uh, in case you're looking for those. So, cause like I said, some of them are not on uh, that little tops logo. So there's a Christian uh, Venuela, Venuela, however you say his name, Villanueva, however you say his name. All right, well. <laughs> William or Willie Adamis, and I think this is no, Adamus. it's just Adamus is base chrome. Yeah, base chrome. It's very shiny. Nine ninety nine. Yep, nice looking chrome. I think this is the first high number chrome we've seen yeah, so far this year. Look the same. Yeah, they look the same, but they're they're really slick looking. So Kettle Marte and Nick Kingham. So next pack here, and then I don't know. Is it over to you? I don't even know how many packs I have here. You did it backwards. You Kevin Plowicki, Martin, Gomez, Holland, Stanton, Holland. So Derek and Greg Holland, uh, Hanson, Hector, their siblings, and Hellickson. So. Maybe. Tyler Skaggs. I doubt it. One was born in Ohio and the other was born in North Carolina. Okay, yeah. They're also born in the same year. So. Here's a short print. We know this one because we've gotten, I think, three yep. of these so far. A Lingoria. Look at Fernando. Hat sideways. Yep. And that mustache. Thing. Daniel is sporting the mustache, trying to go backwards in time, looking like uh, Raleigh Fingers. A good looking mustache. Got it waxed up and everything. Alright, so next few packs here. Still haven't gotten the autograph or the mem. So, Yario Munoz, uh, Dan Otero, Brad Boxberger, Harrison Musgrove, and there's going to be an Andrew McCutcheon deck ledge, then a Logan Morrison, Matt Adams, and Tyler Beatty. Alright. Yeah, now that one there definitely looked like an action shot. So it's interesting how some of them look, but yeah, some of them I guess they just don't get portrait pictures of like this. So yeah, you can get throwbacks um, variations in here. You can get mini cards. That's a mustache. Yeah, too. that's another mustache. Mm -hmm. you get mini cards. Um, there's action like we got. There's color swap. There's nicknames. There's all kinds of stuff. Magenta back. So yep. You have to keep a lookout. This is a kind of a tricky product. Yeah, it is a tricky product. A lot of people get frustrated with it because they don't like looking for all the short prints or they don't know what they are, the variations, and so it can get very frustrating and in a hurry. But there's a lot of helps online that can um, 
guide you through and show you exactly what you're looking for. Yep, Gesellman in Fears. Robert Gesellman is interesting here too. The, all of the Mets team, Mets has like all the long-haired pitchers. Yeah, it's like you put, if you pitch for the Mets, you gotta have some kind of weird hair. Mm-hmm. Avila, Bote, Jared Dyson, yeah, and the, then the Boston Bashers. This part of the base set? No, it's an insert. Okay. Insert, yeah. It's a cool card. Devers and Betts. Um, yeah, the Bote was the one who. Uh, hit the Grand Slam, the walk-off Grand Slam, right? Yeah, and then he hit another Grand Slam like a week later. Yeah, yeah. I that don't know what he's been doing lately, so. I don't know either. I haven't heard anything about him, so. Dixon Machado. Miracle of 69, Ron Swoboda. Swoboda. I don't know if that's how you say his name, but. Uh, Jake Rizzi, Nice Swan Soda rookie. That's a good card. And Matt Duffy. I right. feel like the Gliber Torres rookie cards are harder to get than Juan Soto for some reason. They might be. I always haven't pulled. Yeah, I think it's we've, different. We've for other pulled people. one so far at retail. Yeah. Jordan Zimmerman, Scott Kingery, rookie performers, and Shane Green, J.D. Davis, Seth Lugo, and Matt Elbers. So, hit should be in these last few packs. Yeah, nothing crazy out of this so far. Um, been a pretty average heritage box. Yeah, usually you get one other card. Oh, well, we got the chrome, so. Yeah, not necessarily. We no. Boxes like this. Yeah, Garrett Cooper, Brian Shaw. We've opened up a decent amount of heritage, so we kind of know like what you can get. This is gonna be a Freddie boxes. Freeman. Yeah, exactly. So, right once you start opening it up, a few of these hobby boxes, you start to get a feel for how they usually, um, you know, pack the boxes. And usually you get sometimes one you get one variation a box. Um, usually sometimes something like two. a chrome. Yeah, sometimes you can get two. We've got boxes like that. They can always surprise you. Didn't get like a do do. Is it black? Is that what they are? Black oh yeah, black. Blue? Yeah, those aren't. Um, those look like they were more rare. Yeah. There he is. There's a Torres, Glaber Torres, Tyler Chatwood. Here's a Corey Kluber insert. Dan Vogelbach, Fernando Romero, and Austin Jackson. So, this is going to be our relic card here. Uh, Tommy LaSalle, LaSalle, LaStella, Austin Barnes, Mike Sororka, and that's the relic. Let's show it. Because they're usually yeah, that's, that's good. a good one. Wow, it's sweet! Like pretty much the best one you can get. Yeah, I was not exp I was expecting as a dud. So that's awesome, Ronald Lacuna Jr. relic. So usually these relics are just nothing. I mean, uh, usually I two. Mean, it's still kind of nothing. Yeah, it's nothing, it's but because it's him. And it's also and a well, it's actually a game use. That's decent. Yeah, game use. It says it right there. Games. So a good relic. If you're gonna get a relic, mm -hmm. him or Soto would be. I, I would think the Does two. Soto have one. I don't know, but if he does, that would definitely be, in my opinion, the one you'd want to get. One of those two guys. That they have a game worn jersey of him already. That's interesting. Well, they play so many games, and yeah, this product comes out true. late. So, I mean, maybe it's used. Maybe it's game worn in spring training. I mean, who knows? It doesn't it could be. It doesn't guarantee you uh, any specific game. No. So, there's a Todd Frazier. That's going to be a high number. Smith, Middleton, and Barnes. All right, last two packs. Let's see if we can pull out something else a little crazy out of here. It would surprise me. Ross Stripling, Raja Davis, Will Smith, and now and then. I don't like those Jose Martinez. That much. Yeah, I them. think yeah they don't have the best look to them, in my opinion, either. And then a John Jay. All right, last pack. Let's see if we can hit a crazy chrome card or short print. Luke is being very negative. No, I, just know how these boxes go. I agree, but wishful thinking here. All right, Tyler O'Neill. That's here's a. This one's going to be a short print. Yep, Garrett Cole. Something. And there, that's a good one. Yeah. So he was doubting, and these are. Uh, what are they? Twenty-five. 
I think they're tw- I'll check. I think, I think they're think number they're to 20. twenty. They're not numbered, but I think they only made made twenty five of each. Maybe not. Maybe maybe the numbering's wrong. We'll look it up a minute. But I'm I um, right. Clayton Richardson, uh, Ronald uh, Torres, and a nope, Mark Leiter. So yeah, to twenty five. All right. So actually, that was a pretty good box. Um, we didn't get an auto, but the relic we got is definitely solid. solid to one of the better ones without it being numbered. Obviously, if it was numbered, um, be a little different. But this is a nice card. Not a huge name, uh, but. Any card that's numbered 25 out of Heritage is nice. None of these guys are really big names, though. Like no. Like the top three rookies, essentially. Right, so this is a little... Obviously, that's the big card right there. Kuna Jr., Relic. Um, Kluber. Freddie Freeman. Scott Kingery. Um, some more inserts. So, just to give you a look at, you know, kind of the harder cards to pull... Um, I like that one. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a cool looking card. I like the little picture in the bottom right corner of it. Like the yeah, pistol. Arietta Action, Jose Altuve, Carlos Santana, Jacob DeGrom, Devers, and um, Yonder Alonso. All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, that's a Heritage, Heritage High Number Hobby Box, box number one. We have a few more coming in. We got this one off of eBay. We pre-ordered it, had, I think, a 15 or, yeah, 15% coupon. So got a decent price on it. Um, they're running around $100, and I think we paid just a tad, tad over 100 for the next couple boxes we're going to get. But this one was right around the same price, I think 110 maybe. Um, anyways, uh, I think you're paying right now at Blowout DA. I think they're still 120 25, which seems a little bit high. Uh, in my opinion, then I you're... I wouldn't pay 125 No, I would pay 100 or less, but no more. Um, I, at $100, honestly, this isn't that good of a product. No, it's not. It's not. Um, if you if you do all the work and sort the cards, make sets, yeah, and sell set short box, prints, you can you can do okay. Uh, but uh, if you're, you're just going to sit on the cards and you're not going to you know, sell any of them, or you'd only just sell the hit. I think ninety you could do, is more reasonable. Yeah, ninety or even eighty is probably. 90, well, ninety would be like the, my max. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, fun product. Love, love the look of the cards. Um, there is value here. There's hidden value that you don't. You, most collectors want to think there is, uh, unless you're familiar with Heritage. Um, and the rookie class is great. So you, you know, we pulled the Otani, uh, Acuna, uh, Torres, Soto out of this box. So. Right, right there you have some great rookies uh, that are going to be, you know, uh, people are going to be collecting hopefully for years if they keep up this pace. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Comment below. Let us know what you think of Heritage High Number. We'll be posting more breaks soon, so stay tuned for those. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. We'd love to add uh, you to the list of subscribers. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Have fun collecting.